Well, uh, this car actually started about two and a half years ago. Uh, we have another car as well uh, that we've actually raced at the Martinsville race. Um, but this one, of course, is our newest one. Uh, it's had about 10,000 man hours put into it. It's had um, probably over 150 students actually put their hands on it. Um, so between now and the end of the week, we have a motor to put in. We have some suspension to finish up. Um, you know, we've already tested it two or three times. We've raced it once. Um, all of the stuff has gone great from day one when we when we actually broke ground with the car till now. Um, I feel that we have a good shot actually making this race on Sunday. This car is a lot different from any of the other cars that we've had. This is actually a big spring car um, compared to our coilover car that we've had in the past. Um, which is a big learning curve, not only for us, but our driver as well, who is, you know, new as many people know. Um, and it's, it's just one of those things that is, you know, taken a lot longer than we thought would be to, to grasp a hold of how this, act, this car actually works. Um, the, the times from what we've had last year and the year before that we've actually tried to, to race at Martinsville, we've, we've actually picked up three tents. Um, I can contribute that to you know, all the man hours put into this car, um, all the money that's been put into this car, uh, the the time that we've actually take, you know, taken the practice, um, work on it, pull down rig stuff, um, you know, it's a vast improvement, you know, since three years ago. So I feel that, um, you know, this, this car is definitely gonna be a contender, I hope, so. Cars nowadays, um, you're always trying to get them as light as possible and then put the lead in the frame rails and keep it as low as possible. Um, we have basically gutted this whole car, um, drilled holes in everything that we could, uh, lightened it up in every way, shape, form, and possible. Uh, no dash, real lightweight aluminum everything, um, lightweight seat, lightweight interior, you name it, we've done it. Um, this car is by far probably one of the most state-of-the-art cars that you'll find racing today. Um, even the even the tack bracket and the steering wheel components and everything are the latest and greatest out. Uh, they're actually used in um, Sprint Cup Series stuff. So there's there's everything that we need in there to make it as light as possible and make this car handle the best that it will. The aero package comes with these guidelines right here. And we have to go by every dimension that's on here, and they have a very strict policy on, on how close you can be away from those. And uh, this car has spent probably two or three weeks on our surface plate with not only our templates on there, but also ride height gauges and, and different things like that. So there's, um, there's very strict guidelines when it comes to this body. So the adjustments that we have are to adjust them to get into those tolerances. So, um, you know, we have wing adjusters, we have the, the, the rear, uh, rear spoiler that's adjustable. We have everything that we need um, in the front end, the rear end, the center section to actually get this car. So it passes templates, it passes tech, and everything's exactly the way it needs to be for us to race. I actually was one of the students in the, the first um, few classes of the motorsports program. And now being one of the, the teachers over here, I've seen it grow from, you know, the, the little start in somebody's shop till, you know, our 25,000 square foot facility. And um, leaps and bounds is just an understatement at some of the stuff that we do over here, that we do in the community, that we do with our students. Um, I'd say we have one of the premier motorsports um, colleges probably in the country. Um, the equipment that we have, the cars that we have, the people that were actually turning out for jobs and um, you know their their curriculums and all that and whether they they stay here and finish out or they transfer to a four-year program um, we're we're turning students into you know not only racers but fabricators setup guys engine builders um, NASCAR tech officials we're, um, we're we're doing a fairly decent job of what we do so um, I'd say leaps and bounds was definitely an understatement. Um, I remember having three or four little pieces of equipment and uh, some rulers and some tools and a toolbox, and now we have 
um, $250,000 Haas machine, $100,000 pull down rig, uh, surface plates, setup areas. Uh, we've, in the last seven years, um, Talmadge Thomas and I, the other instructor, we've, we've about worked, uh, it feels double what we should have sometimes to get the program where it's at, but um, people definitely see it and respect it, not only in the area, but other parts of the country as well. Um, most of our guys that come here now want to do some type of, whether it's engineering or motorsports engineering, you know, we're partnered with Old Dominion University, which allows our students to get a four-year motorsports engineering degree. And uh, when they're here, not only do we teach them the basics of normal hand tools and equipment and things like that, but we also teach them how to MIG weld and TIG weld and run uh, machines, uh, whether it's a milling machine, a lathe, a Haas machine, um, shock dynos. So we not only have a broad overview of everything, but we also teach specifics too. So whether you go into motorsports or you become a fabricator or a welder or a machinist or work in construction as an engineer, you learn everything that you need to while you're here. Um, our program is two years. It's um, one year with Talmadge and I over here in the fab and setup area where you learn all your technical stuff that you need to. Uh, and then you have another year with Lou LaRosa who was Dale Earnhardt Sr.'s engine builder uh, for many of his championships. Uh, where you actually learn to build a complete race motor from the ground up along with uh, carburetor and intake and heads and balancing and, and all that sort of thing. So um, it's a pretty in-depth uh, program and not only do you do everything over here, we also have your normal physics and English and math and um, other such classes as that uh, over on main campus. Um, after you're done here, you can actually go on and get your four-year bachelor's degree through Old Dominion University, which a lot of the classes will be gone through over here. So you don't really have to leave and go out of town or move out of state or anything like that. So um, that's kind of a, the program in a nutshell. Um, of course, once you get over here and we start doing things and we start talking about it and explaining it, um, it's pretty in-depth. Um, it's not just come over and learn about you know, changing your oil and rotating tires. We we build, you know, $100,000 race cars from the ground up. Uh, we go to Martinsville Speedway and run with the best of the best. Uh, we do other things such as race at VIR with a road race car. Uh, we, we do everything. So, um, you know, the, the program, the two years is great, but you're actually here learning and studying a lot more than the than we offer for the two years, so.